Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Shortcuts. In this series, I'm going to teach you how to speed up your video workflow and ultimately create better videos faster. In this video, I'm showing you how to make your videos and vlogs look cinematic fast using Red Giant Magic Bullet Looks, Colorista, and Red Giant Universe. But first, here's Dr. Gal to tell you the difference between color correction and color grading. Color correction is correcting an image, such as reducing the exposure if it's overexposed, adjusting the white balance, while color grading is referring to style, so giving your image an extra look that will underscore and highlight the story. Thanks, Dr. Gal, and to add to that, using the tools I'm about to show you, you can develop a signature look for your videos, so that way when people see your videos, they're like, oh, that's so-and-so's look, and it will look professional and unique. So let's jump into Premiere Pro, and I'm gonna show you how to develop your signature look. Here I have an opening travel sequence of an Iceland vlog. As I play it back in the timeline, you will see that while some of the shots look similar, some look a bit different than each other. For example, this shot here is a lot darker than the next. So the first step here is to correct the footage using Magic Bullet. If you go to Effects, search for Magic Bullet. And within this folder, you will find an effect called Colorista 4. Let's drag this effect onto our first clip. Now the beauty here is that from effect controls, you need no prior color correction experience because it gives you a guided tour. So click on that button and here we can say what type of color space your footage is. You can choose from standard video, flat, log, or you can choose I don't know if you don't know. Unless you are shooting with a special camera or have log enabled on your DSLR camera, it's most likely that you're shooting just standard HD or 4K video. In my case, this is a stock video shot from Pond5, so I'm going to select video. Then it will suggest black levels. And here you can move the slider to meet with Colorista's suggested level. And you can also use your eyes to determine the levels. You don't have to meet the exact suggested level. It's just a suggestion. So now let's move on to the white levels and do the exact same thing. The next step is the midtones. So just move that line over to meet the suggested marker. And I'm gonna go with the suggested here because I think it's good. And next, we're gonna do the same thing with contrast. Just move that slider over. It's really simple to use. And next, it's where we bring the saturation back in because right now we've been correcting it in black and white. So let's bring the saturation back up again. Again, you can use your eyes to determine whether or not you think it's too saturated or needs a little bit more than the suggested level. And the last step of this color guided tour is color balance. The easiest way to do this is to use the dropper to select a neutral gray area in the image. Then when you hit next, it'll show you the before and after result. So ultimately this guided tour helps you teach how to color correct and also helps you do it quickly. So then you can do the same thing for every clip in your timeline that you want to correct just by dragging Colorista 4 onto that clip. Next, we want to add color grading. So first we're going to add a film look using Magic Bullet Looks, and then we're going to make it pop using the Universe Finisher. So first let's create an adjustment layer and let's move this on top of the footage. So this is my favorite part. We're going to apply a film look to the footage to start the color grade. So again, go to effects and search for Magic Bullet and here drag the looks effect onto the adjustment layer. Then from effect controls, click on edit looks and this launches a new window from which you are given tons of different looks to play around with. Now I really like the film looks, so I'm going to choose the color film stock category and here you have 17 different film stocks that you can try on your video. Just by selecting, you can get a preview of what the result will be on your video. So once you land on a look that you like, in the lower right, just click on that check mark and you're done. And if you like, you can also adjust the strength of the look. If you don't want it to be as intense of an effect, you can lower this slider slightly. And to finish off our grade and to give it an extra pop that will make it stand out, let's apply Universe Finisher. Let's go to Effects and search for Uni.Finisher and drop it onto the adjustment layer. 
And now as you scrub through, you can see that it made all of the images pop and it brought out more detail. Finisher is a great drag and drop tool that can set your image apart from others. And in some cases, it may bring out too much enhanced contrast and detail than you desire. And this is where you can actually go and customize the effect under effect controls, and you can reduce or increase these values until the images look just right. So I'm going to reduce my enhanced contrast to about 20 and the detail to 10. And you can play around with the contrast, exposure, and saturation parameters until you achieve your desired result as well. Also, if you have any titles or graphics in your sequence, you can also apply the finisher effect to these titles or graphics to give them an extra pop as well. And now when I turn the effects on and off, you can see the before and after. You can see that the new image just looks far more interesting and pops visually. And the film look gives it kind of a signature look. So let's render it out to play it back to see how the final video looks. So it looks great. And one other thing that I noticed is that by color correcting and then adding this film look and the finisher effect, it made all these shots look like they are part of the same film. So it's more cohesive and professional. And remember, I didn't even shoot these shots. All of these clips were shot from different cameras because they're from different videographers from the Pond5 library. So these effects can really make a difference between an amateur and a more cinematic and professional looking video. So that's how you use Red Giant plugins to make your video look cinematic fast. If you have any questions about this process, be sure to leave a comment below or connect with Red Giant on social media and leave your questions there. That's all for Shortcuts this week. I'll see you guys next time for a video on how to make your videos look retro using Red Giant Universe. See you guys then, bye.